Okay. Now, uh, in terms of national debt right now, I'm just going to a final question. Uh, we're currently at levels uh, not seen since 1961, when we were still paying off the war. Uh, in all honesty, Prime Minister, can this country afford a second national lockdown? I don't want a second national lockdown, uh, Julian. I think it would be a uh, completely wrong for this country. Can uh, we afford it, Prime and, Minister? Uh, and uh, we are going to do everything in our power to prevent it. And can, uh, can we afford it? Uh, I, I, I very much doubt that the financial consequences would be anything but uh, disastrous. But we have to uh, make sure that we defeat the disease by the, the means that... Uh, we've set out, and so when I see when I see the uh, people saying, you know, arguing against uh, the rule of six, or saying that uh, the government is going is coming in too hard on uh, on individual uh, liberties and so on, I, I, I totally understand that. I sympathise with that, but we must we must must beat this disease. Uh, thank you, Chair. Thank you. And can we just remind ourselves, Prime Minister, that musicians, singers, and performers. They are part of a very large group that have fallen through the crack, or the cracks of the support schemes available. They're economically very distressed and emotionally very distressed because they can't fulfil their vocation. If if this is going to go on for much longer, what can we do for them? Well, thank you, Sir Bernard. And uh, you know, I just really, at the risk of repeating what I said to to Julian. Uh, what we need to do is to get back to a world where everybody meeting together to, to, to sing, to perform in a traditional way uh, is, uh, has a, a ticket to, uh, to ride, as it were, a, a, the knowledge that they're not, you are not infectious, that you have a green light on your head uh, saying, uh, I, I, haven't, I can't transmit it to you. And so both the performers and the audience uh, have that confidence.